Designers and manufacturers work hard to make bikes both functional and beautiful. Functional is good, but beautiful is maybe not so good if you live where a certain fraction of the people worship at the altar of Liao Tianding, that is, where thievery happens to be practiced. I enjoy having a good bike, but once I pay for it, I prefer that it stay around so I can ride it. I take a three-pronged approach to bicycle security. Good lock, intelligent parking, and uglification, with emphasis on the uglification. The ideal is for a potential thief to take one glance and realize that my bike is not what he or she wants. If your bike is really unattractive, you can park it just about anywhere and still have peace of mind. Here is a basic uglification kit. Clear coat spray, flat black spray, rust brown spray, chocolate powder, and vinyl tape. All the spray paints are fast drying lacquers. Plain chocolate without milk and sugar works best. First, I tape up a few things. Paint does not stick well to chrome handlebars, so it is good to tape them. And although these happen to be polished aluminum, there were a number of bolt heads I did not want clogged with paint. Here I use a wide black vinyl tape with a matte surface. Since you are trying to make the bike ugly, don't bother to be too neat with the taping. Sometimes I pull off decorative and branding decals. In this case, there were no decals to remove. Start spraying with the black. Flat or semi-gloss is better than glossy. Knock down any part that is too shiny or too bright. You don't want anything jumping out saying, Hi, I'm a new bike. I spray down the shifters, brakes, mud guards, support struts, as well as some printed branding on the seat. the black, I hit more lightly with rust brown, taking a kind of mottled approach. Where does the rain hit? Upper surfaces. Good places for rust. When you are happy with your rust brown, it's time for the main trick. Hit one prime rust area with a thick but not quite runny coat of clear lacquer. While it is still wet, liberally sprinkle with chocolate powder. Then spray on more lacquer to seal it in place. Experiment. To the casual observer, it looks like bubbly rust, the deep, flaky kind. I have tried both powdered chocolate and instant coffee, by the way. Chocolate gives more lasting results. I realized that the wheel rims looked too bright and new, but I didn't want to paint the braking areas, so I taped off the brake landings and sprayed the rims black. I also hit the branding on the sides of the tires. That's it. I've used this trick on bicycles, scooters, and motorcycles, and it seems to work pretty well. 
It was great back when I lived in a village where no one locked anything. Not bikes, not cars, not houses. If I ever live in such a situation again, I'll appreciate it more. But for now, this country mouse is in the big city, and uglification works for me. Maybe it will work for you, too. Ugh, what a rusty bike! Wrong! Oh, what a chocolatey bike!